Hey guys, Jared C here. And for today's YouTube video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I grew my channel from zero to a thousand subscribers and how you could do it as well. I've been making YouTube videos for over five years now and my channel may have had a very, very slow growth from zero to a thousand subscribers, but I feel like that's more common and more people can actually relate to that rather than blowing up overnight and going viral and immediately gaining your subscribers that way. I'm not going to get into details about what camera I use or what editing software I use because I feel like that comes down to your personal preference and what you are most comfortable with. So this could very much be a little bit more realistic to the average person. I'm just going to be giving advice to the people out there that may want to start a YouTube channel or already have one and you want to find out ways to improve it. The first thing that I came to realize is that you have to start somewhere. You have to start posting, whether it may be on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. You gotta start somewhere and get that confidence into posting in general. Just because you start your content creating career with gaming videos, for example, doesn't mean you'll end it with gaming videos because you could very much go into vlogs, cooking, baking, whatever you wanna do. It's all up to you at the end of the day and what you have the most fun with. Like me, you could be a little bit shy and embarrassed to post videos for your family and friends to see or people that are close to you, so you don't want to do it on a main account. What I did is I made a new account and I started posting there until I started gaining followers there and I kind of just got into the comfortable habit of posting without having to worry about who's seeing it. Because at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of our goals is to have our own community of people and in order to find that, you have to start somewhere by posting. The second thing I did was post a lot of short form content. Short form content, especially with today's algorithm, with TikTok reels and shorts, can help gain an audience that you never would have reached prior to posting on, let's say, just a normal YouTube video. With this algorithm, it definitely helps look and search for the people that want to see your videos and maybe have similar interests as you. So it definitely helps to not only make videos for YouTube or for Instagram, but to make for shorts and reels and etc. <laughs> I could I could definitely say that my channel has gained over 400 subscribers simply from posting shorts. And if you could check my shorts feeds, I've gotten a couple thousand views that I could actually say I'm a little bit proud of. So shout out to me for that. And shout out to you for starting to post your shorts as well. The third thing I'll say is to try and separate your work from your family and friends because at the end of the day, they're not trying to do the same thing you are. They'll definitely help you out whenever that you need it. So I won't say don't record with them or don't talk to them about these things, but they just may not understand you to the limit or lengths that you want to go to. And nothing's wrong with that. I feel like it's perfectly healthy to have that balance between your normal life and what you do on the internet. As an individual, you should definitely get comfortable making your own videos and being comfortable in front of the camera, whether it is in front of other people or just by yourself in a room or on the balcony right now as I am. The fourth advice that I would give is to look and engage with every single comment. I know I don't get the notifications for all of them and there's a fly around me right now and I'm scared of insects even though it won't, it won't bite me. Anyways, um, <laughs> you can't really look at your comments and think of all of them as a negative thing. They could really just be feedback for your future videos because at the end of the day, you're just trying stuff out and the stuff that you may be interested in, someone may not be interested in it. And, and, uh, I don't know why I started that, but whatever. I'm gonna keep all this in just because I feel like I need a little bit of personality into this video. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, hate comments, love comments, all of those comments, they're definitely gonna benefit you in the long run because algorithm. <laughs> but I feel like all of it at the end of the day is feedback for your channel and you could work to improve for your next video. The fifth thing and fifth advice that I would give is you do not have to copy other YouTubers. You can look at other YouTubers and compare yourself to them, but they are not you and you are not them. You have to show your own personality if you want to take this to the long run because you can only copy someone for so long and it's just not natural like you don't you have to put twice as much effort into your videos and into your work and you could kind of lose a lot of your creativity so people want to see you for you maybe you could be a little bit extra for the camera just to make it seem a bit more exciting but I feel like just naturally showing your personality and just being you is the best thing you could possibly do and it may be a little bit embarrassing at first but I feel like you'll definitely get the hang of it in the long run. Why is my pinky up like that while I'm talking? <laughs> the last advice I'd give, and I know DG said he was gonna come for me because I was talking about this in the Discord while I was writing the script, was to stop looking at the numbers. 
honestly for me personally i have my analytics up running way too often and i'm looking at it 24 7 and i definitely need to stop that but it's only because i'm posting a lot now if you only are posting one video like every week and you're trying to look at your analytics and you're not seeing anything then it could be of hindrance to your motivation and you definitely don't want that when you're trying to make videos and you're trying to bring in a community to your channel you know like you definitely want to be the person that is consistent doesn't really care about the numbers because in the beginning you're not going to get it unless you do get lucky for the few people that may be just remind yourself why you're making these videos in the first place and for me personally i just enjoy making videos i enjoy editing them i enjoy talking to people and hearing their ideas and thoughts and i guess that's kind of why i started as a kid i'm not gonna get too deep into that that could be another video but yeah for now i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of how i managed to get a thousand subscribers and what i did to get there hopefully you guys could do the same thing if you're on your way to a thousand subscribers you definitely got it just got to be a little bit more consistent and stop caring about everything too much you know and yeah that's basically to sum it up make sure you guys like comment and subscribe on the video if you enjoyed and or got any advice from it thank you for watching have a rest and nice of your day have a rest nice of your day have a nice rest of your day <laughs> And peace out. You can see the bags under my eyes. <laughs>